Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and on this channel I show you how to work with Photoshop in the right way. Today I am going to show you how to blur out the background to create shallow depth of field in Photoshop. So this is the image before and this is the result after as you can see very soft and natural effect before we start make sure you follow me on instagram all the links in the description and now i'm going to remove the effect and show you all the steps from the very beginning first of all we need to select the object that we don't want to blur out in this case our model i'm going to choose quick selection tool and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I press Z on the keyboard and zoom in. And with this one, the plus, I am going to make the selection all around the model. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful around the edges. And then what I want to do next, I want to invert the selection because I will be blurring the background, not the model. So I press Ctrl and hit on this image and then select inverse. You can just hit right if you're using the mouse. Once it's done, we need to duplicate this layer and because of the selection, everything will be duplicated except the object. So Command or Control and J to duplicate. Let's have a look how it looks like. As you can see, we duplicated everything except the model. I'm going to name this layer now, Blurred, Blurred Background. And okay, now it's visible. Also another step, we want to work non-destructively. So to work non-destructively, you hit right on this layer and convert to smart object, then any effect we're going to apply will be applied to this object. We don't have to create many layers here. Once it's done, I am going to apply effect. So I'm going to filter, blur gallery and tilt shift. So tilt shift allows you to create very similar blur uh, that the lens gives you. It's not so precise, but it's a very good start. So how does it work? Area outside of these lines in the center is blurred and the center is not blurred, it's preserved. So what are we going to do now? I am going to drag this a little bit lower uh, because I don't want to have the road blurred, this area here where the model stays because of course she has to stand on the solid ground. I'm going to make the wrench a little bit smaller, drag it down a little bit more uh, till this level. So what we did here, front a little blurred, the trees here a little blurred, very good start. Now we can intensify the blur effect that we did here. And we are doing really good job at the moment. So it's uh, it's looking really, really good. So this amount, maybe around 30 uh, pixels will be our start, then I am going to hit OK. And now the first problem I can see already appeared around the head. Uh, it's because not perfect selection. Uh, we can simply fix this by creating the layer mask and on this white layer mask, we have to paint with the color black. We choose the brush and color black. So we can cover these areas. Layer mask allows you to work non-destructively because white color makes it visible. The black color makes the effect invisible. So I'm trying to do some fixes here a little bit on the coat as well. And now we have the first element. Now we had very good start, but it's still not enough for the perfect effect. So once again, I am going to filter blur gallery. And this time I am going to choose field blur, which allows me to blur out the chosen area by me. So in this circle, we can extend the blur. And what happened at this moment, it recognized 
everything because we have only one circle and blur out everything. So we don't want everything to be blurred. To preserve the certain areas, you have to hit on another area, for example, uh, this area, I don't want to have any blur applied now. I'm going to make the blur at zero pixels. And as you can see here, the ground is not affected and go back to this blur now. And I want to see which area I blur out. I want to go a little bit lower. I want to blur out this area here. Let's see if we can apply some decent amount, around 30 pixels will be just about enough. I want to apply another one here. This area was already blurred. So I'm going back with this. As you can see, we don't want to get crazy with the blur. A little bit more. I want to preserve this area here. I'm creating another one, zero pixels. This one may be closer here. It's very well preserved, maybe. Then one more here, just in case. That could be actually not enough here. Another one, blur this area a little bit. And also this area here, not enough blur. So I'm creating one and a little bit more of the blur applied just around here and preserve the area here. So we did pretty good, I believe. Now we can hit OK after this exhausting part. And let's have a look once again. This is before and after. I can see uh, maybe here we should be more careful. So once again, I am going to paint a little bit more on the layer mask to create this area a little bit more natural, something around here. Not too much. Around the coat. And I think now it looks absolutely perfect. So let's have a last look. This is before and this is after. I believe this technique allows you to create most natural effects because I've seen out there many tutorials that show you how to blur out the background, but the effect is not really that natural. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.